The question of whether Erichthonius and Erechtheus are the same individual is one that has intrigued scholars and enthusiasts of Greek mythology for centuries. The names Erichthonius and Erechtheus are undeniably similar, leading many to believe that they may in fact refer to the same hero. However, a closer examination of the sources, including the writings of Plato, Hyginus, and Apollodorus, reveals that there may be more to this question than meets the eye. One of the primary sources that scholars turn to in order to unravel the mystery of Erichthonius and Erechtheus is the work of the ancient Greek historian and geographer, Karl Ottfried Muller. In his seminal work Orcom, Muller delves into the lineage and stories of the heroes Erichthonius and Erechtheus, attempting to untangle the web of myth and legend that surrounds them. Muller's research leads him to conclude that there are indeed two distinct figures, referred to as Erichthonius or Erechtheus I and Erechtheus II. This distinction is important, as it suggests that the names Erichthonius and Erechtheus may not be interchangeable, and that they may in fact refer to two separate individuals. The first of these heroes, Erichthonius or Erechtheus I, is often associated with the founding of the city of Athens. According to myth, he was the son of Hephaestus and Gaia, and was raised by Athena. He is credited with introducing important innovations and advancements to the city, and is widely revered as a cultural and religious figure. Erechtheus II, on the other hand, is a later figure in Athenian mythology, and is often associated with the founding of the Erechtheion, a prominent temple in Athens. He is also known for his role in the myth of the contest for the city of Athens between Athena and Poseidon, and is often depicted as a wise and just ruler, 